All right, what's up, Turtle Riders? How's everybody doing tonight? Good? We had Brett in here. Hey, Brett's here. How you doing, buddy? What's up, fool? You look weird. I got a new background. I got this Bob Burton. This is Bob Bernie of photography. This, how awesome is this picture he's got? Of he's downtown great. Worcester, the Turtle Boy statue. No, wrong one. Did I you just this one. Your, your cover off your camera? Because you look sharp as fuck, son. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't, well, I got, an, I got I a new green stuff. screen. I got a new green screen. I invested in it. It's like a much bigger one. It's nice. Because that's what you do with the donos. You know, you got to invest back in the product. You know? Absolutely. You got to do it right. So, all right, guys. Sorry about the delay. Welcome to the show. Uh, we are live right now. Not only on here. I'm actually experimenting. I'm also, I, I didn't realize I could go live on two things. So, I'm also live on the uh, Uncle Turtle Boy page. Uh, so, you can watch us here or on, preferably YouTube. But I just figured I'd throw it up. That way, I don't have to share it on the Uncle Turtle Boy page. But I've shared it on the Clarence Woods Emerson page, the Turtle Boy Sports page. Share it up. Let people know that we are live. We're out here. We're keeping it real. And uh, we're, we're doing our thing. So um, just a reminder, folks. Uh, also, uh, actually, let's start the show off with what we always start off with. A little thing called where you repping. So let us know in the comments right now. Where did we just score? Did we? Oh, I'm wearing a Bergeron shirt. Okay, so I said Bergeron. Uh, let us know in the comments tonight where are you watching the live show from tonight? Because also, I'm gonna need people to keep me. I can't live stream it on my computer, but uh, yeah, all right. We got Dennis is in the house, Dorchester, Tucson, Fall River, uh, Lewiston, let's see, uh, Milford, Hyde Park, Dennis, <laughs> Apache Junction, Dorchester. Uh, Ipswich, Drake, it, Watertown, Marion, Ohio, Glendale, Arizona, Tuxbury, Cape Cod, Port Sebago, Maine, Fairhaven, Unity, Maine, Hope, Rhode Island, Hopkinton, excellent. Uh, Franklin, Norton, T in Tiverton, Salem, Skituit, Kitten, uh, Hyannis, Wittensville, Braintree, Flagstaff, Arizona, Southbridge, Milford, Scarborough, Maine, uh, Flagstaff, Westfield, Pelosi's Vag, Tito Jackson's mom's house. Actually, do I have this mic on? Do I even have the mic on? There it is. Okay, it's on. All right. East Long Meadow Lynn, et cetera. All right. So, okay, folks, uh, yeah, share it. Like, Make sure you're liking this page. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Let me push this back a little bit. That better? Okay. And then center myself a little bit. How's that? That better? Okay. Darcy blows. All right, folks. Um, so, yeah, uh, just a reminder, I do have a freestyle. Brett hasn't heard it yet, but it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So make sure if we can raise $200 in the donos tonight, I'm going to unleash the freestyle. All right. So if you guys want to donate to the program uh, and, you know, because this is kind of what we do, how we make a living. But uh, you guys, there's a little cash thing on the bottom. You can hit that button and you can donate. 
on the YouTube to the super chat. Uh, and, or you can just cash at me uh, on Cash App. I'm dollar sign Uncle Turtle Boy. Uh, so you can get at me that way uh, if you'd like. And yeah, we can do it that way. So I just kind of want to jump right into it. It looks like we got 230 on a YouTube and another 55 on Facebook. It's weird. Like that Facebook has like, oh, so there are people on Facebook. Weird. All right. But it's weird that like Facebook, it, we can get way more views on YouTube now than we can on Facebook. It's freaking weird. But anyway, how's that look? Jesus camera. Yeah, I don't I get right why now. you would rather watch on Facebook than YouTube. I don't know, man. I mean, well, it's just weird. Like, the Facebook doesn't grow anymore. Facebook used to be our thing, man, but it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe people are sick of it. Maybe people are moving on to new yeah. things. Maybe your grandparents are on Facebook now. I don't know, but sorry about the camera situation. Anyway, let's get this party started, shall we? I think God it, damn you, camera. Fucking... My, cam my shadow's yeah. a problem? Do I have a shadow? Do you want me to adjust it? Doing okay? No, shadow ban. No, on Facebook. Oh, right, right, right. Ban. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But whatever. We're on YouTube. We're here. We're live. We're doing our thing. All right, let's get this party started, shall we? Let's talk about the first topic here. Um, first thing up I want to talk about. Uh, I'm going to start with nice and simple here with these random farmers. These fucking people. <laughs> Good Lord. Figured we could have some fun before we get into the Monica tape. The new, uh, have you listened to the whole thing, Brett? You got a yeah, shout out in the Monica tomorrow. tape. <laughs> All right, we're up to 20 so far. Right, there's no way. I sat maybe front of it. You said what? There's a cat. I sat huh? through five minutes of it. I made comments. They maybe could be considered rude. And they were deleting everyone's comments. And then she said they got to get rid of me. So I left. Yeah, get rid of Brett. Bro, block Brett. Block Brett. Block Brett. So they know about you now. You're, you're on their list. All right. So uh, first topic up here. We have this uh, story out of the town of Raynham. And I thought this one was funny. So these guys are, uh, what are the hell are the names there? Uh, Chuck Chuck Curry and Maria Kaziunas. They're the owners of the Freedom Food Farm in Raynham. So they're hippies who started a farm. They have Bernie hats, which tells you everything you need to know about them. But they sent out this email, which you just, I thought I've seen it all as far as like virtue signaling and, you know, trying to, uh, you know, impress black people. But this is the most pathetic pandering I've ever seen. So the email reads as follows. We have 25 certified organic grafted Geronimo tomato plants available in four inch pots for $5 each or free to BIPOC, which is black indigenous people of color because people of color was not enough. You had that black indigenous to it or LGBTQ farmers. So Brett, if you are a farmer uh, who disagrees with the uh, biological sexual organs that God gave you or that science gave you rather uh, and you farm, then you get free tomatoes, don't you know? You you can't grow your own goddamn tomatoes for some reason. The BIPOC farmers, yeah. I mean, the the, L, the BLT 123 farmers, they get their own tomatoes, uh, but everyone else must pay. Just the white people, basically. Oh, they have to pay. Wait, and what do the uh, what do the BLT 123s farm then? Like what's what are what are they farming if they don't even have fucking vegetables? I don't even know. What, what, no. Maybe radishes. I don't know. What what do you mm. beets? Beet farms? I, don't I don't think know. Tupac likes radishes. I don't think Tupac will be growing radishes. Maybe it's a dairy farm. Can't be a pig farm. They don't like pork, right? So, oh, uh, some of them. The fuck do. Some growing? of them love pork. Some of them love pork, Brett. Let me tell you that much. But I don't know. no, <laughs> pork is in the meat, bacon, and stuff, not fat white broads. Oh, but right. Of course, of course. Pork, uh, yeah. Thank right. you to Courtney. She says, I'll give you triple if you finally do a blog on Hell of a Chick. Okay, maybe we can get to see. I mean, so this Hell of a Chick is some chick from Kentucky, I guess. Thank you, Bridget. I appreciate that. We're up to 45 now. Uh, this uh, Hell of a Have you seen this Hell of a Chick lady? No. There's some chick from Kentucky who has like a YouTube channel who's been following. She's got like 8,000 subs on there or something like that. She's been following the Michaela Miller story like hardcore. Not hardcore. Just, you know, sucking Monica's clit, basically. And no. is so thirsty for us to come after her that I almost don't want to give her attention. You know what I mean? 
Oh, it's like, one of those. Like, yeah. It's the, right. like Connie and those types. Right. That any attention, good attention. Like they want you to use them as a toilet. Exactly. Like I just, nah, I, I'm that. hesitant to give anybody that wants my attention that badly exactly what they want because I'm, why Such am I giving you something? What was that? It's a bad precedent if you do it. So then right, every exactly. fucking jerk off well, yeah, use the same template to get you. You know. What I, I mean, mean, that was my policy with your boy Connie for a while. I'm like, why am I giving this guy attention? Like, you haven't earned it, you know. Oh, he loves. And you, I did. Though. I did come on your show last night, Brett. I came on the Brett After Party show in the comments, and I did uh -huh. ask. For, I was just bored. I'm like, if it's Friday night and I'm high at like 11:45, I'll fuck with him a little bit. I don't care, but like, I have no desire to like give him a segment on my show, you know. You haven't earned it. I only remember half that drank a whole liter of earning it. Oh, you, you watched you were, the second bit... half of last night's show. <laughs> uh, oh, Connie, not a little bit. No. Excellent. Fucking so, lit. So we're up to 65. Okay, so let's jump back to this story here <laughs> before we get too off track. All right, so uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts? So free veg, what, just the re vegetables. I just you feel like when I see black, oh, Jesus Christ, this queer. fucking camera. Huh? Hold on. I don't know why this fucking camera. Hey, Give me wait, one Courtney in the comments, you can absolutely. Go ahead, fix your shit. I got to answer this, Brad. You can absolutely write a tryout blog on her. Uh, what's the email? If someone could put the email address in the comments. He wants other people to do the work to take a little fucking load off him. So give it a shot. Right yeah, about this fucking at gmail .com. And fucking yeah, email. There you go. Boop. Hold on. Hold on. This fucking camera is going to be the death of me. I'm going to get it eventually. Does that work? Go ahead. Go ahead. How'd that work? How'd that work? No, give me one sec. Give me one sec. We're going to get this eventually. Right. Hold on. Thanks. Any score in the Bruins game yet? Are they back Brett, playing yet? Glitchy. Right, yeah, did on. your figure skaters lose yet? Did my figure skaters? I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully That's not. A great but just game one like doesn't really matter that much. I don't like that. All right, get a real camera with the tripod. Yeah, relax there. At ease, soldier. All right, uh, so back to the uh, situation at hand here, um, this random <laughs> farmer story. So my whole thing with this was uh, I think this is the kind of thing that you put up when you've never had a black customer before. Do you have any thoughts on this? I, I just don't get the for it. Like you said, it's just virtual signaling. But to go that hard, hate for it. So if I go there, I, I how much is a tomato for me? They like double Five the bucks. price because I'm bucks. a white supremacist, massage therapist, all that shit. Correct. Even for me? Yes, like I show up with a turtle boy shirt on. Five dollars. Uh, tw 25. Now, Five if I show up with a turtle boy shirt on with a knot in it showing my belly and going, I love these tomatoes. Free tomatoes. Yes. yes. If you go up there and you're like, I just sucked a big fatty uh, and it was great. I took it all over my face. You they, you will get free tomatoes. And I tomatoes. want to wash it down with one of your tomatoes. Yes. Free tomatoes. Free tomatoes. And now I got to oh, call my boy. What's that guy's name? What's that fucking bald guy's name that said uh, heterosexual men are oppressed? What's that fuck's name? Oh, Samson, Samson and Delilah, Samson. whatever the fuck. Oh, he might have a point then. Because he might have a point. We're officially a point. Yeah. We're being discriminated against. We can't get no tomatoes. What the fuck's up with that? So yep. anyway, uh, so that's uh, I th that's my take on that. I just thought this was a funny little story. Let's give. Should I give him a call? He's got his phone number. I'm going to call his phone. We could absolutely call him the fucking truth. Right. So, what should I pretend to be? Because obviously it's stupid. Like if I was gonna like seriously go to this place, I wouldn't go. I would just find a Puerto Rican or like a black guy or a lesbo or something to just go down there and get him for me. So who should I pretend? No, to be? I should just I pretend to be gay? gay voice. What? Yeah. What? Should I pretend to be gay? Gay voice. Or yeah. not? What Tell about not? how many? I, mean, I could do non-binary. I could do. No, um, you're a pattern pansexual with a lesbian son. Tell him that. Okay. Can I be black too? Or is that racist? No, you don't sound like black. Black or racist. I'm Shaniqua. No. no? 
Okay. Well, I can be anything I want, so fuck you. Okay, let's give him a Use call. Your voice and, and say you used to be a girl. Let's do it right now. Nine seven eight 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 four. Okay, seventy one zero two. Let's see what he says. Come on, answer. Oh, Rask just gave up. Point. Yeah, we lost. They're open two days a fucking week. For more information, visit our website, freedomfoodfarm.com, or visit us at the store. Have a nice day. Yeah, this is uh, Sarah. I'm a pots and pans sexual, and uh, I have a, uh, a transgender son that I adopted from a crackhead named Mike Gennetti. Uh, we have always the daughter now. And uh, also, I'm... Uh, uh, I'm thinking about becoming half black, so I want to get some free tomatoes. Just to be clear, I'm not a white guy. My new name is Sarah. Uh, I am a pots and pans sexual, and my uh, my my son Brett Jr., soon to be daughter, uh, is going to come with me. So I feel like we should get two free tomatoes for that. So if you give me a call back and let me know when I can get my free tomatoes, that'd be great. Thanks, Sarah. Out. Bye. Pronouns. Fuck you and suck my dick. Bye. All right, so I don't think they're going to call me back. This fucking camera, I'm going to throw it out the goddamn window. Okay. Do you think they're going to call me back? You have to make me your daughter. That was- uh, my no. daughter, Brett Jr. <laughs> Hold on. Can I do that like this? Fun. There we go. All right, so let's go on to the next story because that was a nice... God fucking damn this fucking camera. I don't know why I fucking... Hold on. Just- I'm going to lose my fucking shit if this camera doesn't stay in place. I mean, once- I'm watching the it- fight it- anyway. It's never a problem, ever. That's about yeah, Moses getting his ass whooped. How about that? Does that work? Good enough. Okay, cool. It works. All right. All right, let's go on to the next topic. Um, I want to talk about the one-armed bandit. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking story. All right. So, uh, this is from the one I, I forget. <laughs> When I'm Willie. Yeah. So there's this place called adopt the video in Lemonster. And apparently I've seen it a bunch of times and apparently it's like a chain. And I had no, I've driven by a bunch of times and I've thought to myself, what the fuck is that video? Who the hell video stores like blockbuster, like the video store has been out of business for like five years and adopt the video and lemon stir is still open i'm like that's something's got to be going on there because they always seem busy like too like she was always going on like something was always happening there right yeah, well they well, get raided as, as i said if you follow discussing fitchburg now which everyone should because it's where all the good gossip is it was posted earlier in the week that there was a raid going on there and the state police were going on uh taking stuff out of there and immediately my first thought, like a lot of people's was, that's got to be kitty porn, right? It's got to be. What else are the fucking cops doing there? Kitty porn, right? I assumed. Yeah. That's uh, what I but would yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the reasonable thing here. You would assume it's, it's kitty porn, but it turned out to be something much, much more uh, <laughs> interesting than that. Much more elaborate. So the daughter of the owner came on there and it was just like, Christina says, Keep your assumptions. No one knows. Keep your eyes in your own lane. Uh, you know, my dad, this is my father's store, and it absolutely is a video store. He worked his ass off to stay in business. He also worked his arm off to stay in business, apparently, because he's got one fucking <laughs> arm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. We can't get in trouble for that, right? Wait. Yeah. I got to ask this first before I get All in right. trouble. We can make jokes about missing limbs and shit, right? That's not oh, one of, of these can. protected species. No, we no, can make no. All they, the jokes you want. No, nothing. Limb. No, they don't have protected status. What? Just make it. All right, go ahead. And you go. Yeah. 
with some rude yeah, shit and I'll eat shit for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they don't have protected status. So he's not gay or nothing, right? All right, good what? enough. Yeah. So no, anyway, good enough. Just making sure. Right. So uh, I mean, you could say you could argue that, like, you know, instead of uh, <laughs> for baking soda, this guy does just the baking soda uh, label. He uh, uh, buys is hammer. My no arms. Okay, <laughs> he's got no fucking arms. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I don't know. Anyway, uh, the human let's, machine. Come on, keep going. Yeah. Anyway, let's this is it's too. It's sometimes it's too easy, man. It's sometimes it's just too easy. Like that chick. Who was that chick a while ago? She had no goddamn thumb or something. <laughs> she had no thumb. <laughs> we had some chick. We anyway. We're getting off topic here. All right. So All right. this chick opines. She goes. I knew someone who was the who knew the owner. He used to buy tons of stolen stuff, and the owner would give the guys, drug addicts, a list of things, electronics, that he wanted. I was even brought to his home on several occasions and saw everything that was going on firsthand, and his girlfriend or wife or whatever was into online selling, possibly eBay. And as it turns out, that was 100% accurate. And did you see how they got caught, Brett? No. Well, they got caught. How they got caught? Like yeah, why they got, got raided, you mean? Someone told yeah. on them, right? Yeah, but here's the thing about it. They lasted <laughs> three fucking years. If your entire business model is you getting junkies, he had 26 junkies. You can't get one junkie to keep their mouth shut. This guy had 26 soldiers, right? Who's He would tell them, just go to Home Depot and you're going to steal me a guy. Go to Dick's and steal a crossbow. They stole a fucking crossbow from Cabela's. They were stealing. Like, he had millions that was of the best dollars. Line in the blog. That was the best line in the blog. Was that you walk out of fucking Bass Pro Shops like Daryl Dixon and nobody notices? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, some fucking out. These junkies are just walking out of this place with like microwaves, blenders, vacuums. All this shit, and like they bring it to like these are the best thieves ever. Like junkies are not people who have their shit together; they're fuck ups by nature. Like three years, he had a criminal syndicate that completely revolved around the competence of junkies okay, to steal him shit from Walmart and Home Depot. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing that this went on for so long. Like that, so. He gets caught because, according to the report, I'll read this to you. You would, you would be amazed at, right, at what? I would be amazed at what? Hmm? I'd be amazed at what? At the amount of people that have the same exact scam. Like, this right. is one guy that got caught with a handful of junkies. They're called boosters. It's literally, yeah. I may or may not, back in my drug dealing days, dealt with people like that. And you can literally, it's like, the Amazon of shoplift is do we just tell them what that you weren't and within 24 hours they come back with it for the drugs right 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 like you know it's what I'm impressive. saying so it's a common business model I just got caught five finger discount that oh that's what the joke was last time the five finger discount I think she had no hand <sighs> the chick we and so this guy also got a five finger discount um <laughs> So anyway, that's uh, we're at the seven about the broad. Yeah, well, this guy. I'm I'm just reading the dono here. Thank you, uh, Blarney. We're up to seventy five, so we're one hundred twenty five short. If we get to two hundred, we can do the freestyle. Anyway, so let me read this. How they got caught here? They go on February twenty third. Trooper Joe Hall of the Troop C uh, made a motor vehicle stop in Lemonster, which resulted in one of the vehicle's occupants being arrested for outstanding warrants. So there's a chick in there that has outstanding warrants. The vehicle's remaining occupants were sent on their way, and the individual with warrants was transported to the Lemonster Barracks for booking. A short time later, a be on the lookout notice was issued for that very same vehicle regarding a shoplifting incident at the Home Depot in Lemonster. The vehicle was located and occupied by the boyfriend of the previous party under arrest. The boyfriend had five outstanding warrants, but somehow was not like he got pulled over with them. He didn't go to jail somehow. The boyfriend had five outstanding warrants and was placed under arrest. 
Investigation revealed that the boyfriend had traveled to the Home Depot and stolen cordless drilled batteries, which were exchanged at Adopt the Video for bail money for his girlfriend. So they got caught because they got pulled over and the girl had warrants on her. So she goes to jail. And in order to bail her out, the junkie boyfriend's like, oh, shit, I need cash to bail her out. I know what I'll do. I'll go steal something from Home Depot and bring it to yeah. Adopt the Video not realizing that he was being uh, trailed the whole time because they caught him on surveillance stealing and they bring him there. And so at that point they begin to watch this place thoroughly and the state police go undercover and they become pretend junkies and they start stealing shit for him. And they did like, so they do a bunch of shit and then they rot, they raid his place. He had 26 boosters. I'm reading this from the police report here. Uh, they did a search warrant on adopt the video in his home in Lancaster, which cost $750,000 uh, and a total of 1,695 stolen items were seized at adopt the video in Lemonster. So adopt the video was nothing but a warehouse for stolen goods. The whole thing was just filled with you name it. Thank you, Sean. We are up to uh 125. I appreciate the dono very much. Thank you. Um, also, uh, this guy's name is, by the way, John Duplice. Uh, 4,609 items were recovered from his Lancaster residence. Four vehicles, a Tesla, a Chevy Camaro, a Chevy Silverado, as well as 27 firearms were seized from his residence. And a 10-point crossbow confirmed to be stolen from Cabela's in Berlin. And $15,000 in cash uh, were, were uh, taken. It's estimated that between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars of stolen merchandise was recovered, and within the past three years, he has profited well over one million dollars in stolen. What a fucking! This is the most amazing criminal enterprise I've ever heard in my life. I was going to say ever. you sound like you're just hating, but that's I know that's admirable. Good for you, it's pal. Got to do it that long. Three Plus, years. Me. Not he was a the single, white one on Bodhi. And uh, seriously, for tw and and no, none Dude, of them talk. None of them talk. snitch. Look at all of it. You, yeah, you know they all. You know every single one of these boosters had warrants too, right? Like they all had warrants. So you, like they're just yep. and none of them got fucking caught yep. in three years. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's like I can't even believe that happened. No, uh, no, no, no. There was times they got caught. Wait, wait, wait. There was times they got caught. You're, you're insane if you think none of them got caught. Time why? Why? What happened? They were in and out of jail. At least they were in and out of county jail during that time. But listen, they're not going to, like, you don't throw away your ATM card. That's true. Saying, like, a junkie, crackhead, whatever it is, you're not cut off a, a, in a source of income because you got jammed up on something else. Yeah. Unless you're just a That's fucking cunt, but. Normally, like, you get mad because you did something, do you throw ATM card? Like, I don't want money anymore. Yeah. You're not. And by the, and, They're not going to rat him out yeah. because they can always bring him anything. That's a good point. Uh, I'm getting messages that says he was doing this for 15 years, okay? And he has bailed them out personally out of jail. I mean, this guy's obviously a scumbag. I don't know what the fuck happened to his arm. But uh, he... Has done, he's got chain stores he does this at too. And by the way, needed. what? So you're right. That's why he needed the crossbow, son, because he can't do a bow and arrow. He can't. <laughs> That'd be the reason. Why oh, no, he no, the oh, you're, making, you're making me laugh and knock the goddamn camera over. Okay. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You're fucking on the camera. How's that work? <laughs> yeah, you, you pull it. What do you do? You, can you use your shoulder and pull back like that? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Fuck but, my uh, you can't do that. You can't do that. Like that. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Fuck but no, anyway. you can't now, a bow. Have to. You got to do that. You have to have full arm extension. He's only got one of those. So with a crossbow, he can just do it with his feet. And pull the thing yeah. to cock it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'll get to that, Courtney. Thank it you. So it's hundred. We're up to one hundred thirty-five in uh, donos, who are sixty-five short. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, back to this story. So also, this guy, uh, he's got he's like a mini Janetti. 
He has an ex-wife who died in 2012, and he was not listed in the obituary, which even if it's your ex, you're still listed usually mm -hmm. in the obituary. Why do you think that is? That, that someone, oh, I can't tell the story because it would be used against me, but like I was mentioned in some obituaries, but one of my brothers wasn't once. And it was because the person that reached out to the newspaper to write it didn't like that brother, like one of my brothers, who was left out of it. Like, oh, okay. Like it's a sweet move. It's a hundred percent like they don't write obituaries on their own. They have some you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, what's up with your audio tonight? It's so choppy. And they left my brother. Hey, what's up with your audio? Let me today, fucking yeah. jump out with the uh, thing. Yeah, because like nobody can hear. Like it's all fucking choppy and stuff. I don't know what's happening there, but we're missing out on classic Brett content. Uh, so he'll he'll jump back on. Uh, so we are up. Thank you. Uh, so we're up to now. Um, what is that? A hundred and uh, hundred sixty-five. So we're thirty-five short. All right. So uh, back to the story here. So also. This guy's like apparently Janetti with one arm because he has another girlfriend named Paulette who died in 2019 uh, and she had addiction problems as well. And sources tell us that he was like there when it happened. He pulled a Walter White and uh, I guess she died like on his floor. And so this guy clearly is like feeding drugs to, uh, you know, people who are addicted no, it's not audio. It's connection. Okay, you guys could hear Brett fine. I don't. Know. Hopefully, Brett Brett will be back. But anyway, that's that one. So uh, let's go on to the next topic here because I want to get to the good stuff. There, it's unlocked now. All right, we got a. Uh, it's unlocked. Thank you very much, Amber. All right. Um. Again, if you guys feel like donating, you can. If not, it's free anyway. Thank you very much. All right. So let's talk about this other story here. Thank you, Lisa, very much for the dono. At a new Badford. So this chick, I call her Busty the Clown, uh, a, a sergeant in the New Bedford Police Department named Michael Cassidy, who is a literally a hero. Uh, he saved, uh, I want to say, three people's lives on separate occasions. Okay. This was in 2018. On Tuesday, Sergeant Michael Cassidy of the New Bedford Police Department was honored with his third life-saving award. He was off duty and shopping at Market Basket when an employee suffered a medical emergency and became unresponsive. Sergeant Cassidy began medical intervention that brought her back to life. So that's amazing. So this guy is literally just going around saving lives. Unfortunately, he dies of COVID. And so there is a huge show of support for this guy in New Bedford, all the cops come out from all these different, I mean, it was an amazing display that they had in New Bedford, this guy. He was obviously well-liked, well-respected. And another example, by the way, like of why these fucking teachers who wouldn't go back to work are such a disgrace. When I see stuff like this, I'm like, we had it in Rutland, we had a detective die, Boston a cop died, Taunton a cop died, all of COVID, right? And they, you didn't once hear you didn't hear once the cops being like, well, we can't go back to work until it's safe. Right. We can't, there's a, there's a virus out there and they're, they, they don't, the criminals, they're, they're not wearing masks. Okay. They can't ask the nice rapist if he'll throw a mask on when he comes over for the domestic abuse, that's not going to happen. So anyway, uh, it just shows the, once again, the cowardice of the teachers here. But this broad here, her name uh, is Ariel Wilson, and she did not like, look at her, look at this. I mean, seriously, some people, like when I see pit people like this, okay, it's like, girl, you're not in, you're not in ninth grade anymore. I understand when, at, when you're like 14 and you're going through puberty and you think you're ugly and you're like, well, I'm just going to like, I'm like so different, man. I'm just going to like be goth and shit and like wear a cape and like just be different. Nobody understands me. I'm such like, a, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do my poetry and nobody understands me. And my stepdad, he drank all the Mountain Dew and I fucking hate that guy so much. I fucking hate him. And my mom likes him so much. And he's fucking so annoying. Oh my God. I just want to scream. 
Okay, so you go through that phase of 14, but now you're like a grown woman and you're still doing this shit. Like, what are you doing, girl? What what what, what is this all about? Anyway, her name's Ariel Wilson. Good lord. Good lord. And she puts out this video. Uh, this is her reaction to the uh the show of support for this uh police officer who died from COVID. Welcome to the city of New Bedford, Massachusetts, where when a police officer dies, they feel the fucking need to take up a whole public fucking street for one fucking pig that's dead. Disgusting. That's not nice. So they're taking up the whole street for one pig. Uh, that's disgusting, she says, and so she's not happy about it. And then you go on her page, and it's uh, New York's joining the cause. Who's next? Like she's promoting rioting and destruction. Fuck the police shit. And you're looking at her, and like, good lord. I mean, what is going on here with this shit? Oh my gosh, look at this. And of course, she's got the god uh, the the knife. What the fuck? I mean, somebody said it best. It's like, girl, you know she likes ICP. <laughs> you know she does. What is in her nose? It's like they just... Oh, and then she marries this fucking guy. Tell me that's not Lieutenant Dan. She's not married to him, of course. She just got knocked up by him because why wouldn't this 21-year-old circus freak bear a child? And tell me that's not goddamn Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm like, I've seen him before. It looks like some Gary Sinise character. I'm like, it's Lieutenant Dan. Uh, so... There she is. So she posts this nude on face, semi nude on Facebook. Apparently the guy's not loyal to her. She calls him baby daddy in his phone. And she accused him of cheating on her. Okay. Um, and so she posted this picture of herself, like semi nude. And she's like, Oh, because I want to feel confident. And if it's okay for him to follow and chase after women who post lewds like this one, then so can I. I'm a grown woman. So basically the guy couldn't keep his dick in his pants and he's, uh, you know, chasing tail left and right. Hey, Brett, you back? Yeah. Well, so what happened was, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you much better now. All right. Well, yeah, my laptop had some red fucking thing on that bottom bar, like a, yeah. a, an alert. And it said it had updates. And when I clicked it, I texted you. I was like, hey, it's just restarting. But two seconds ago it was only at like 17 percent so i figured fuck it i'll use my phone and uh no camera but who fucking cares oh cool that works yeah so, That's dedication right. to the cause right there absolutely right. absolutely it's glad to have you back so what do you think of this clown freak brett what do you think of her why why is she sharing uh, pictures of herself semi-nude like that what's up with that oh that stir strapping She's mad at that dude. I, I, I'm fucking pissed more now that I missed this fucking pork chops fucking intro <laughs> because this is the one I was looking forward to. Go ahead. This, you, this fucking about? wildebeest. So guy was out fucking deep dicking someone else cheating or something. That's her story. But yes. I think I think he was just liking pictures like it's yeah. that it, he hearted a picture of a broad and her kid. She's like, you must be fucking her. I'm going to show everything but my meat curtains and my nipples. Like that was a thirst trap revenge thing. And <laughs> like you, you should do that on, there has to be websites that like that type of shit, right? Like the, what are they called on the porn sites? The BBCs or BBWs, right? Yeah, oh, BBC. like that. Bulky bitch women or something. Yeah, you don't. BBC is a different genre. No, no, yeah, that's the dicks. Yeah, yeah. No, for the girls, the BBWs, the what? What is it? Big bumpy women, something like that. It's all fat bitches, though. It's It's a bunch of big bitches. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. So, so have it. Google it. No, someone fact just check for me. No, Google that shit. I dare you. I'll take like it would be it. any worse than anything else in your chat in your search history. Come on, yeah, no that's, bullshit. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> but point. This, that's the only reason to do that. And then one of her fucking fat friends fucking moves Ron into her fucking chat thread there and goes, "Take this down. This is you're you're above this or some bullshit." Right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And she goes, "All because I wanted to feel confident, and it's okay for him to follow and chase after women." Who post lewd. So I think you're right. Based on that comment, she's just yeah liking shit. And so she's like, see, I'm beautiful too. Look at me. 
He followed some fucking half a hooker on Instagram, and she got jelly. Yeah. And not the jelly. She usually pours down her throat straight from the jaw, but jealous as in hurt feelings. Because, listen, she ain't missing no fucking meals, pal. Look at her. No. Not that no. there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I like, like big tits and shit, but you got big <laughs> everything, and you're putting it on Facebook. Like, what the fuck are you doing, you fucking no. chubby redone? Uh, so she's like, you're just mad because you're talking Steven side. Literally, you take it literally last night you were posting on. And even if he was like, do you think this is going to make him want you more? Like, see, I'm a whore. Look at me. I can post pictures of my fucking fupa out there. See, uh, so <laughs> he's obviously really stable. Uh, I bet you you could go even further. And I bet that the girl that she caught him following on Instagram or whatever social media had a picture exactly like that, but without the gun. You know what I mean? Like yeah. without the rolls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so she mimicked it. Yeah. I she's bet like, ha, I'm just as good. And he's literally in his head. He's like, not really. That's why I got to follow this slut. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Insecurity. That's all that is. So anyway, uh, back to this, <laughs> this broad. You, you were in rare form with her. Uh, she, I got to give her a call. It's like she's also posting things like next time I post and ask for plans, remind me not to y'all are a bunch of fake fucks who can suck. My giant dick won't make plans with me, but we'll dick ride everyone else's statuses. Fuck y'all. I'm over it. So I guess nobody would hang uh, out with her that night. So she's like, no, no, me. that furthest that, that reinforces our theory with it was you literally posted your fucking gun. Because you got jealous that he followed a girl on Instagram. And now you're like, you make plans with me, and then you all over someone else's posts. Like, she's literally going through, like, say I go to your page right now. Yeah. And I look at your latest post, and it has eight reacts. She's going to those eight reacts. Who reacted how? Yes. And, oh, so, and yes, sees she's... her friends reacting more often on other people's posts than on hers. And that threw her into this rage to type that bullshit out. No, you're absolutely right. Dude, she's a clout chaser, son. That's all Dude. she is. A chunky clout chaser. <laughs> chunky. She's, a, she's a, a CC. C. Chunky clout chaser. She's a 3C. She's a 3C. <laughs> <laughs> the, the They're going to be protected soon. We might as well make jokes before yeah. these fat fucking cunts are protected. Uh, like the, the, the lack of morals in this generation's disgust stuff. Fuck out of me, bitch! You're you're like complaining about dead pigs. You called them like, bro. You have more. Get her and, on the phone. Call yeah, her. Gonna, oh, can I just if, talk about this for a moment? She <laughs> sure, shared. She shared on February first. I love when I go like research these ratchets and I find out that they've shared something turtle boy related. <laughs> she 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 shared uh, my text messages that this ratchet sent me. Uh, and I put them out there and, uh, food, the Brockton food stamp Cinderella lady that left her EBT card in the fucking, the stolen <laughs> car. Yeah. She, she shared that one. So she did message me on Facebook and she called me like, let me see what she wrote to me. She said her message to me was a, a short one. It was, um, get a real fucking job. Okay. So we're, I'm going to call her back because we need to see how she's doing. Oh, uh, if, if she's upset with the morals of people in Facebook comments, wait till she gets a load of me, son. Yeah, that's true. She's going to get her fucking feelings hurt. Okay, it's not, it's not working. Okay, so she's not there. If they haven't accepted your um, message, the first one, the message request or whatever, it doesn't work, unfortunately. So... We're going to have to go on to the next topic. All right. So the next topic is going to lead into the Monica Cannon Grant thing. I'm going to talk about this chick, Tori Bedford, the most recent blog I uh, did. And I was happy to expose this cunt. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, this fucking piece of shit. No, she looks, she looks like every surfer dude in every California movie ever. This like chick? That's, I'm, I'm not. Uh, you say chick. I wouldn't make that assumption. <laughs> <laughs> go back up. Go back up to that first Spicoli looking picture. Look at that, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, Spicoli. That's Spicoli. People say I'm like Spicoli. <laughs> no, look at that. He this fella got way more of a douchebag face than you do. Though. Look <laughs> at that. Well, this <laughs> fella, this fella is a welfare recipient. I call him that because she works for WGBH. 
taxpayer funded NPR radio in Massachusetts, and they do nothing of substance whatsoever. And uh, she, there she blows. She is a reporter. And uh, just to show you how stupid she is, this is, uh, this is her most famous thing. Over last summer, somebody tweeted out a picture of the goddamn Godfather. And she says, saw this party happening in the North End today. Obviously, this is a joke. No masks, no social distancing, just pathetic and downright dangerous. All local news can use this photo in broadcast and online. And it's a picture of the goddamn Godfather. Uh, so it's obviously a joke. But then this idiot chimes in. Hi, Megan. It's Tori Bedford. I'm a reporter at WGBHUs. Can we use this photo with credit? <laughs> So this is the level of stupidity oh, Jesus that Christ. we're fucking dealing with here. Like this is how fucking Ugh. stupid the mainstream media is. Anyway, she's won awards because she's useless, but uh, nobody <laughs> has legitimized uh, Monica Cannon Grant more than this woman. And the problem with Monica Cannon Grant is not necessarily her because at the end of the day, Monica Cannon Grant is just a crazy ratchet who can easily just be ignored. Like nobody has to legitimize her. But the media, because they have presented her as the de facto leader of Black Lives Matter, yeah. she's like she's the go-to for all things race in Boston, like because they have legitimized her. Now the media knows the truth, and she is one of the worst offenders about this. Tory Bedford, she knows exactly what Monica has done, yet she has written glowingly about her so many times. Like if you search Monica Cannon Grant's name on her Twitter. So many fucking things. And as a result of this, Monica is able to just like, not just be legitimate, but like Joe Kennedy, the grandson of Robert Kennedy sought out her endorsement. That's how important Ugh. she was. That's how important she was. That's so right. gross. Wait. Uh, so by the way, what's her number? So people are saying me, you should, you should I call. Uh, wait, let me see. Let me see. Somebody said uh, that uh, the goth chick. Hold on. What? Pork chop? Yeah. Oh, oh I, can actually, we please call I, her? I, yeah, we're calling her real quick. I got to call her. Excellent. I'd like to talk to that chubby fellow. Oh. She's not answering. Okay. So Ooh. back to Tori Bedford. So she's kind of legitimized this woman, and I blame her because I've sent this woman all like back. I had no idea who she was when I was first researching Monica, and I figured that all these people covering her would want to know the truth about her, that she says stuff like this. And this tape never gets old. Keep your fucking hands off. And then this heifer running against Ayanna Presley, this one here with the white husband. Uh-oh. Uh, mm -hmm. At some point, we're <laughs> have a conversation with black folks who get in a relationship with white folks and then forget that they're black. We're going to mm -hmm. have to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Fuck with y'all nerves, it's gonna be uncomfortable, but we're gonna have to have that conversation because if white vagina and white penises jeopardize your melanin, then we need preach to queen and this preach queen, so slay queen, slay queen, <laughs> live your truth, boo. Your history and realize where the fuck you came from. This ain't your part of the show. We need you. To I need all the people that understand what it is to wake up black, regardless of how many educated gang symbols you have at the end of your name, regardless of how okay. close in proximity you are to white supremacy, regardless of how many white penises you ride. Hey. I'm not mad at you, sis, because if you ride in that motherfucker for a credit score, get you that house, boo. Get your 40 acres in your mule. Just don't word. Nigga. Whoa, whoa. Oh. oh. At ease, soldier. At ease. Bruh. Yeah, not she cool. came not in cool. hot. So you she's see dead. something like that, and then you see all the awards she's been given and all the praise. No, like, no, the meat, fuck the that meat. shit. You see all of that, and this is the same person that just recently said on a live fucking broadcast or whatever that she's winded from eating chicken. Oh, we're going to get to that. Go get... fuck yourself, you yeah. fucking bloated fuck. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. No, I, I completely <laughs> agree. And it's like, I figured, the, I figured the mainstream media would want to see that because this woman is a leader of a social movement in Boston. Like sh she's written op-eds in the globe. Surely they would not want to be associated with this. Like I, I understand I'm an independent blogger and they want to pretend like I don't exist, but like they know I have an audience. They know people are reading this. The Lowell Sun wrote about it. The Boston Herald wrote about her. Like it was in the Dude, news. 
Dude, this fat bitch is watching this show right now, having a cheese sandwich with extra cheese. And, and hot sauce. Yeah. yeah. And hot sauce, and might have fried it because she's real big. Yeah. She's the black Wilford Brimley transgender. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just figured that the mainstream media, and this is shame on me for assuming this, that they would want to get the story right, right? That they would want to know what this woman is all about. But as it turns out, like they have no interest in that whatsoever. They prefer the other story. And the narrative that they are pushing is that this woman is a civil rights leader. They're all in on it. If they have to go back and like print the truth about her, it fucks with their whole narrative. And they can't do that. So they have to just pretend I don't exist, even though we've all seen this. It's all in their mentions. And all this Tory Bedford woman does is block anyone, block anybody who mentions Turtle Boy, right? Or anything mentioning Monica Cannon Grant. <laughs> And as a result, this is like probably the highlight of Tory Bedford's life. This, uh, what happened in Hopkinton? Hold on. Right, go ahead. It's my home girl, y'all. <laughs> so she's, uh, you know, basically, you know, that was the highlight of her. Like, no, notice that the cheese sandwich and the Negroes comment that you mentioned earlier. Oh, right, play this. Well, <laughs> The fuck? Do <laughs> a pizza. Yeah, we're so lame. Yeah. Oh. These are the most pathetic people I've ever seen in my life. They're like, wait, were we supposed to clap at that? Like, the self-deprecation? Oh, right, right. We're so whack. We're so whack. You go, girl. Slay queen. Funny that well, don't Tory Bedford quoted Monica a bunch of times. She didn't throw that quote in there. Okay. She just did all the incendiary quotes. Go ahead. Why why does no one like so no one in that crowd like he is that like say I'm giving say this is the benefit of a doubt hypothetical situation that there's a handful of people at this event that kind of got roped into it. Like your friends are going and right. you're not really into it. But right. yeah on the way to sushi we'll stop by this bullshit. Right. You know that kind of shit. Totally. They I mean, they don't hear shit like that and just stop and go, wait, what the fuck? You know I, what I mean? Like I feel vocally. the same way as you. I feel the same way as you, but I also feel like they're so white that they uh. just don't know what the correct thing to do in this situation is. They're like, wait a minute. Are, are we supposed to laugh at that? Because it's like we're because we're white, because uh. oh so we have privilege, so this is what comes with privilege. Like we're just yeah, supposed to get right. shit on. Like I, like I feel like a lot of these white people were just confused because the first time they didn't clap, there was really awkward. It was like uh, quiet. And then the second time she said it louder and they all clapped and like, Oh, I guess we're supposed to clap here for this. I guess we're supposed yeah, to wait. She repeated it in between bites of her big Mac. Yes. And so now we're supposed to like yeah. respond. Like, right. see, that's the crazy shit. I think the, the white privilege is what we do. That's what I'm going to start fucking saying. This is white privilege. Calling out bullshit and saying whatever the fuck I want about it is my privilege. That's the only white privilege I got. Unless you've right. got a card and a hat that I'm unaware of that I have yet to receive, the only benefits to being white is noticing dumb white people. Yeah, that's right? pretty much it. That's pretty much like it. Like when, when everyone calls you a racist – all of your fans who f fucking best fans on the planet point out that we talk more about white people than any other uh, color or creed, race, anything, don't we? We yes, literally do. Like oh, the number, that's math. Right. And by the way, she's Doesn't also she's also written about the Moses Harris thing with the same thing. She always ends this with like for months. His family has been asking for more. Remember this guy that jumped in the river to evade yeah. the cops? Yeah. yeah. Like there's fucking video of it. Like, here's the fucking video of Moses Harris literally jumping in a fucking river. Check this out. So this guy's a domestic abuser. Okay. 
He's been to jail before for domestic violence. His girlfriend calls after he kicks the shit out of her. The cops get there to arrest him. He's going back to jail. The Concord River is right there. And what does this motherfucker do? He runs. Takes a, takes a dip. He's like, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, um, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. And he runs into the fucking river and boom, he's dead. Okay. Bruh. He runs into this fucking thing. Like you, you ain't living, dude. Okay. Listen. What? <laughs> Say, say I know I have warrants or that I just, for some weird reason, I kicked the shit out of my wife. Police are coming and I see them and I live right next to an airport and I notice an open plane like it's running. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, on right. the tarmac waiting, no one around. I wouldn't, to get away from the police, jump in that fucking plane and take off because I don't know how to fucking fly. It's a good point. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> just common fucking sense, dude. It is. It like, is. You know, you you can't swim, obviously, or you'd be here telling your side of the story. Even if he could swim, it's fucking December. Okay, nobody could swim in a river in December. So yeah. he, if, you know, a raging Maybe. river like that. I don't and know. So he fucking d- is obviously dead, and <laughs> and for months. They hold these protests at the goddamn police station saying, we want the truth. There's no truth to find out. Ever, anyone with the brain knows that Moses Harris fucking died jumping in a river because he's a fucking moron. Hey, want to to wait, wait. What? Uh, fucking pork chop is in the comments. Is she really? Ari Wilson saying that we're harassing them. Theme, whatever I don't even pronouns like, is. She goes, I don't even like Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's her beef. Could, you yeah, because you know what that comment was, right? That's what he said. This is what every girl who's stepdad Daryl who drank the last Mountain Dew <laughs> looks like that hates the world. <laughs> it's so true. Though. It's so true. Hey, Colin, <laughs> Colin, there's the streamyard link. I just, I just posted the streamyard link. There. If you want to call in? Please click on that, and we'll have a conversation. Come on okay. in, tons of fun. I I tried calling you on Facebook. You didn't I, dare you. I dare yeah. you. I dare you. I dare you. Listen, yeah. chi- listen, Chub Rock. Fucking put down the sandwich and pick up the phone. Yeah, Come Moses on. parted the Concord River. No, he did not. Unfortunately, the wrong Moses. Wrong Moses. So. Oh. <laughs> <He> part- <laughs> <laughs> All right. He so said wrong Moses. <laughs> wrong Moses. Wrong Joe. You are not that Moses. I don't know what you think. <laughs> this, oh this my God, Moses. that's fucking great. <laughs> the real Moses part of the Red Sea. This motherfucker <laughs> couldn't even swim across the Conquer River. So, uh, anyway, oh, he's dead. The world's a better place without him. And they protested for like months. Oh, Beast, Beast Lightning was down there protesting on his behalf. And my big thing was like Tori Bedford pre- presents this story like there's more to it. The same way she did with Michaela Moore. Is there more to the story? Uh, we don't know. People, activists are arguing. Why don't you print the truth? Why don't you print that Devante degree? And Tina Degree, the people leading this protest for Moses Harris, literally killed and murdered Emily Nieves. There are text messages showing this shit. We print this stuff. Nobody else prints it. Go back and read this story. It's fucking wild. This woman was the victim of domestic violence. Much like Michaela Murray was the victim of domestic violence. And parental Tori, violence. Yeah. Tori Bedford has not mm-hmm. reported any of that. That's her job because... She just covers this up. And this is my favorite tweet that I'm most proud of from her. (laughs) The tweet she put out in like September, she goes, if you're an activist getting aggressively targeted by a turtle boy, notice she, by the way, doesn't put my name in case I search for turtle boy on Twitter and and see this. (laughs) So she doesn't want to like, and being targeted by a turtle boy misinformation campaign, you are absolutely doing it right. So first of all, honey, there's no misinformation. Okay. I'm the one putting out real news you're the one posting misinformation because you are not posting the facts. So boom roasted there. Uh, you're but making say- me uncomfortable. Why? Because you keep calling this fella honey. Stop it. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so she goes, you are absolutely like, so basically what she's saying here is like, if you are an activist, AKA Monica Cannon Grant aggressively quote unquote targeted by a turtle boy, misinformation campaign you're absolutely doing right so what she's saying there is that monica must be doing something right 
if she's upsetting me, if she, if, if I'm exposing the truth about her, which is misinformation. These people are the kings. That's one of their favorite words, by the way, disinformation. Shut the fuck up with your bullshit. Anyway, that, <laughs> that brings us to the video that Monica put out um, the oh, other day, no. Thursday day. I was going to go live Thursday and do it, but I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll save it for the live show. So talk about a summit of morons. So they have on here, um, Bro, you know, this, oh. they have <laughs> quite the trio on it. This is basically the only three people they have left supporting this fucking scam. And that's exactly what this is a scam. Uh, so she, wait, before you play it, go ahead. so you posted this, you're like, Oh, you know, whatever you do, don't go fucking tell them how full of shit Monica is. Right. I see this post and it's like two minutes old. I'm like, Hey, I'm going to go fucking, I'm going to go see. So I go in there and I maybe said a thing or two and got a shout out. But it was the first time I realized that literally I didn't know that Ernst or Ernst, Ernst, whatever his fucking name is, was the janitor at the Pulse nightclub. Like, he couldn't be more non-intimidating if he wore a dress on a podcast. Remember he came on the live show? Yeah, yeah. But, he, yeah. well, his thing on this, before you get to it, was he tries to act hard. Yeah, He's oh, like, yeah. And all these pussies never show up nowhere. And I'm literally yelling at my phone as he says that. Because I'm like, dude, he, Aiden goes everywhere, son. Like, like what li- the fuck like, are you I, talking about? Ernst, I met you in person. I was, <laughs> there, I was there at Hyde Park. I was there in Roxbury. front of you. In front, in front of, front you. of you. And by the way, you yes. did not confront me. You confronted Rayla. You go to chicks. Because so, this so who's bitch the is pussy? afraid of me. Yeah. And who's he, the pussy? He's the pussy. No, no. I but mean, what I'm saying is they were saying me and you. Like that's, I mean, they were talking about you. But I'm, you know, and then whatever. Part of you, whatever the fuck. Talking about Turtle Boy. And he's like, and they never show up nowhere. Fucking pussies. And da, da, da. Oh, yeah, they keyboard gangsters. She said in between bites of her fucking foot long. You know what I mean? And that I took that personal. He was like, wait, no, no, no. See, you're pushing a fake narrative. You want to play the black victim shit? I really, to be 100% honest, I don't give a fuck. I just like exposing you, and I like having a hand in that. But when you fucking push a false narrative like that you don't ever go out in public, that bugs me. Right, Like you've exactly. spoken at places. You're at protests. Fucking, li- you got- right. And so we're going to get to it. Let me just play the tape. All right, go ahead. It to just it. irritates to me. Financially help right. sustain the work. Mm-hmm. Right. And this is, and I found out something the other day, that ladies and gentlemen, do not, while you're at the supermarket, you know, and I sent this to, to Monica, while you're at the supermarket, you give your like $2. You go home so, when the, the nice, uh, beautiful love letters and notes that, so they talk about how oppressed they are. And- I missed mm-hmm. because of the things I say. Do you know how many mm-hmm. times conversations started around funding and mm-hmm. then they go? To be honest, I was doing, I'm not going to put this bar out there yet because I haven't confirmed oh. it yet, but I was doing business <laughs> with a bar downtown consistently. Oh my God. Like seven a gay years. bar. Never a gay bar. Yeah, tell me this guy's I not gay. I mean, no, if it, it's just come business. out of the closet, dude. What are you doing? It's 20 fucking 21, dude. Back December, come on. And all of a sudden, I come on, dude. Dude, come on, he got a he got he got a big apartment yeah, no and he chose yeah. the closet as his and, bedroom. And son. That. <laughs> that comes with a cost. Yeah. Like speaking your truth comes with a cost. You can't just. <laughs> I was very that. Yeah, this guy's house. like, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the uh, house is nice, but how big is the closet space? That's the only thing that matters. I need a walk-in. Says, well, actually, I need a sleep-in closet. Work for anybody. Yeah. So now we got to figure it out. Leaders got paid, right? You need to be directly giving to organizations Hold on, find, because Bob, I find that away from their family. Yeah, give me money for this community. Yeah, give me and money. At the same time, we get attacked for this work. Oh, oh we get attacked. Absolutely. We're under attack. On a, what work? These people are. They, all they do is just act right. ratchet, you know, nobody, lie, and then we, we expose day, them. We're being attacked. Or when we, me and you was having the conversations, like Tina said, so they about to turn the lights off. Ooh. It's the same work as the blood pressure screenings it. that right. Mosaic did, and son. It can't same be thing. about pleasing uh, everybody. And then there are also people who are professional haters. That part. Right? They. <laughs> and imagine do, do what, you, really, you really have only been doing this for a couple? May 29th is the first protest I went to ever in my life. I'm 32. 
32 years old. He's got no fucking job. He is, he's, by the way, currently facing charges for assaulting an 80 year old woman. So, and uh, Swamp Scott. I've been doing it for 10 years. Let me find the part where they start talking about us. Hold on. He didn't go and start. This is just a waste of time. First 25. It really is. Who's Who the fat guy? Middlesex District Attorney, okay. Mary and Ryan. Okay. Um, and so Shimmy's gonna run through that case, what the family is dealing with. They're also going to be she, with uh, so the Moses the Harris thing. We're gonna talk about the Moses Harris case first. Michaela Miller's family, um, and seeking justice because this DA has continued <laughs> to cause harm. So Shimmy, floor is yours. Um, all right, so there's a there's a lot to unpack with this, but I'm just gonna give you the facts because facts did he just say there's a lot to fudge back so, stop it um, on December, <laughs> uh, Moses Harris disappeared into the Concord River after being contacted by the Lowell Police Department his body was later founded his body was later found on March 7th okay because so, uh, it's winter do, like, do, do those dates again okay so on December the 19th yeah he was his his last interaction with anybody was a police officer. Yeah, officer still unknown. The community, the family still doesn't know who this police officer. Like it, is. like it fucking matters. Ran into the fucking like river. Doesn't. Yeah, he decided to act like a salmon and try to swim upstream. That's not a cop's fault, son. Was stepping out of his vehicle, looking like he's scared. He starts backpedaling and running towards the river. Oh, look, There's he's no scared. More video after that. Allegedly, Moses jumped. Into the oh, concrete. Because it's right sake. fucking there. His body wasn't found until March 7th yeah. by a civilian who was just out walking their dog. Let me check the date just to make sure that I, I read this correctly. So what was fucking, they're like saying that like because it took three months to find his body, that's the shady part. Yeah, dude, because it's fucking winter. It's fucking <sighs> winter. And the body floated two towns down the river to fucking Andover and he's fucking dead. What? What is there to investigate here? Yes. Actually, oh. God, what? Actually, the body sank first, and then bloated with gases, and oh, then that? floated to and to where someone found it. So yeah, that's how, like you're saying, that's how seasons and water work. Yeah. This little <laughs> twink, fucking trying to twist it. I know. He's like, dude, like, shut your fucking so mouth. Bad. They are so desperate for like a police killing of a black person in Massachusetts because this is what they do all the time. They see. Why can't we have a Michael Brown here? Why can't we have a fucking Freddie Gray here? Why can't we have, you know, insert hashtag of the week here? No, and yeah, we need a new say his name. Right. We but need they a don't new one. It. it hasn't happened in Massachusetts. It hasn't happened in New England. No. And so, no, but that's what they're looking for. No, I'm agreeing with you. And this is the best they can get. And so they just have to twist it and find some type of way to make this very clear cut man jumped in the river story into something that it's not and they're like well yeah. it took three months and they they all think they're fucking columba on it like did you see that <laughs> uh -huh. that's shady oh yeah uh-huh uh-huh oh what Wait, say those dates again wait just think of his oh the, the statement he made he goes so the last contact he ever had was with a cop and he allegedly jumped into the place where his body was found Allegedly, allegedly. Like, well, yeah, he ran from the cops. You're right there, but then he jumped in the fucking river, and we didn't find his bloated criminal piece of shit woman beating corpse until spring, dummy. <laughs> That's how it works here. That's how the fucking seasons work, dummy. <laughs> that's that's uh, literally that's weather. That's, that's just weather, weather son. You live here in New England? That's <laughs> how it works. You fuck. No, you, you fucking idiot. Oh, Bruh. God. So it goes up. He goes needs up. to spend less time under other men and more time outside, apparently. Because that's how the <laughs> fucking water works here, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> dumb fuck. It's from sure in Andover, about five miles down. Where is Moses? Because he, he had disappeared into the river and nobody had found him. <laughs> but what happened to him? He and drowned. <laughs> He was armed in the Merrimack River. So what so, happened to him? Um, well, his lungs filled with water because it's a raging river, you dumb fuck. No and then he froze to no death. And his so, ass drowned because he couldn't swim. Uh, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't, didn't die of thirst. I bet that ain't the cause of death. 
held the and police they've been like, force. oh, this is a that was the same yes, county, uh, Brett, held the police as um, the officer's name. The, Michaela Miller's county. So they figured it out, Brett. Oh, same DA. Jeez, I don't understand the level of incompetency oh, yeah. that we are Incompetence dealing with. Is the word. with this yeah, incompetency ain't a word. That's a Connie yeah. word, like analyticals. Yeah. 77 days had went by. Oh, now, 77. He counted the days, Brett. at the Michaela Miller um, vigil, Tito had said something that I'm sure everybody who was there who had heard about this story thought about, but like probably didn't say out loud. Ooh, what was that? When you say it out loud, it's yeah. different. Oh, but yes. With 77 if you days. Go like this, it makes it legit. Moses was a white man? Nope. Oh, that's no, literally. 77 days. That's literally the. That's the argument they go back to with everything. If he was white, then they would have found his body faster than 77 days. Because, you know, us, we just let black, you know. We see black bodies just fucking going down the Merrimack River all the time. We're like, fuck it. We'll get it. Is it white? Nope. Fuck it then. Go on with your day. <laughs> you know how many times I've snagged a black fucking corpse out of the river when I'm fishing? You just unhook them and fucking kick them back into the current, man. That's, <laughs> but a white one? Oh. No. I, I got to take a selfie first and then call the police after I'm done with my live video. <laughs> That's the fuck I'm doing. I'm going to oh, be Brett Kardashian. Really? I might even pose in my underwear next to the corpse if it's a white one. Oh, if it's a black God. one, it's catch and release. Son. I don't <laughs> even post about that shit. They really think they're smart. It's amazing. Dude, they believe this shit, though. <laughs> That's what fucking... <laughs> it's insane. They don't really believe it. They do. No. Them. See? Nope. No, they they're do. Scam artists. They're scammers. They don't believe this. They, there's no, no way they believe He this. does. Listen, Monica might not believe it. He graduated. This little... This, this dude, little twinky right. dink believes it. This guy graduated from Penn State. So what? Well, maybe that explains the homosexuality, but um Yeah, the, so yeah. He, he likes touching little boys. <laughs> We're not talking about his sexual preference. We're talking about how dumb he is yeah. and he's brainwashed and he believes this shit, man. I don't think he's he does. Not, I think they're I, just he, scam artists. You're, I think you're giving him too much credit. No, I I think it's just they're just scam artists. I think that's all they are. They they know yeah. that their followers are stupid, but they're just like, yo, if I if I go like this, and I go like this, and I'm yeah. like, yo, seventy seven days, and what if he was white? And then if I do it like that, and I end every sentence with like a question mark, it's gonna make me seem like I know what I'm talking about. Like they're just fucking full of shit. All of them. It goes on. And he jumped into the water and then they just assumed that he drowned. He's assumed, yeah. Because you know, because did not find him. Yeah. Uh, you know, a civilian found him 77 days. Yeah, later. because you know why? Because he wasn't he alive the next day. So they assumed he was Wait, dead. Wait, so he's questioning the, the, the cause of death. That's what bugs me. Something's not adding up. To, to think of a black uh, man who, as and you're then, noting, and Tito talks. You, you can't tell me that footage really just cuts slow, off and he's like, like that. That's so who the fuck is this guy? I, 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 uh, the fat guy the is Tito Jackson. He is the former Boston city councilor who ran for mayor against Marty Walsh and lost in 2017, but got like 40% of the vote. And by the way, yeah. you're a black right. guy who ran for mayor in a black majority city and you lost to a recovering alcoholic and closeted homosexual named Marty Walsh. Okay. That's you. <laughs> That's you. You, know that guy. Yeah. you lost the fucking white guy in the black majority city. You got rejected. Oh. I mean, I, don't make me go full Tamika Mallory here. Right. No, but you should. Know, and go, wait, people. go full screen. Go yeah. full screen for this rant, please. Cause I'm not gonna production's going gonna gonna to need it. Yeah. He got need it. You got rejected by your own mama. <laughs> They don't even want <laughs> black people do not watch you, Tito. How do you feel about that? How do you feel Ooh. about that? You got rejected in a black majority city, and you're black running against a white guy. Okay, full stop. Full stop. Anyway, oh. back. full stop. Very naughty and durable situations. It did not say that. Moses attacked the police officer, right? Right. So therefore, what what's your malfunction with with your camera? There's why, a fucking video camera of him jumping in the we river. Also know that these uh, these cameras are backed up in real time to the cloud, 
Right. Oh, so right, that right. information is actually available and should at least honestly, wait, decency wait, pause it. Family, yeah. even if you don't show cloud, he said it goes to the cloud, right? Yeah. Well, smart guy, clouds are white. <laughs> okay. And if it gets sent to the white, that should be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. White and white. Yeah. Black well, Lives Matter. Yeah. Right after Michaela's body was found, the cameras came back on. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It is. Um, so that's why I feel like it's it's important not to try to like overshadow one death with another because they're both tragic. Okay. Kayla Miller, I felt like I stepped into an episode of CSI oh. Oh Miami God. Mm -hmm. oh my or God, Law and yeah. Order SVU. Oh, snap, yo. Oh, because snap. Because the amount of evidence that was coming in oh, those way. Dude, so much evidence. Was like, when yo. Did, when did they to talk about you? Husband, like, We're going to get to it. Law school. I'm going right. to Question because oh, none of it added up. Oh, dude, none it of it added up to my didn't add up man. to people who are proficient in the legal field. It also didn't add up to yes, it did, actually. press. It didn't add up to community members. She it just killed didn't herself add up for and that's a end number of, it. of different it's reasons. Literally it. Um, and so Tito, why don't you talk about how we got involved with the Michaela Miller case? So I I received a uh Oh, instant gosh. Instagram message from a friend of mine, Beth Tarpley, who I went to high school with. Okay, so that's I Beth, don't think I've talked to Beth since Beth Tarpley. You know, is the one. Now, we know, now we know that Beth Tarpley we, you know, is the one who started this whole thing. Let's, let's find uh, out about her. She lives in she actually lives in Chicago. Okay, and so she hits me up at like three o'clock in the morning. I, I I sometimes have some sleeping issues, so I happen to be up. Yeah, because um, you're so a fat, you're know, a walking bag of diabetes. Said, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's called Wilfred Brimley syndrome, you fat fuck. <laughs> it's um, going on um, out there. Um, and I said, cool, oh, I'll, I'll talk to him. So, mm -hmm. um, and then later that yeah, I get here. Um, Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights, Rachel Rollins, every single person who loses somebody receives at least a personal call uh, from the DA. Okay, so blah blah blah. We were trying to be strong for her. Yeah. But I absolutely wanted to to cry. Oh shut Again, up! Again, Michaela's body was found in dense forest. I'm not even gonna say woods. Dense? It was not dense at all. On a dense forest. <laughs> maybe three inches. Yeah. In diameter. Three inches. You tied the belt around it. Standing on her feet. Standing on her feet. Right. With a black sweatsuit. Right. With a hat on. With a hat oh, no, not a hat. Wait, wait, pause it again. Yeah. Remember what Monica said what? on that video that we went through? She said it was an eight-inch tree, and she yeah. showed, oh, like, the oh, height. Yeah. And I was like, well, oh. that means around. And now it's three inches. Now yeah. it ain't eight. Now it's three. No, it keeps changing. Funny how that works. Ugh. Funny how that All works. Right. Exchanges. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I yeah. just I was like, wait a minute. With a black belt tied around her neck with multiple knots. Multiple knots? What the fuck? How do you know that? How do you know how do you know that? Multiple knots. Right. And so I, I, I ask of all of the folks who are who are here, and I'm gonna say it one more time, and Shimmy said it earlier, but hypothetically imagine this. Allegedly. Five black kids from Roxbury, Dorchester. Oh, uh, back to the five black kids. Hopkinton. Yeah, okay. They jump a white. Okay, the girl was never jumped. That was a lady. complete lie. A complete lie. She was not jumped. And they were not all white. At One was 7 Puerto Rican. PM, and then 7 a.m. The, the next morning, she ends up dead. What would happen to those black That's literally 14, the only old. argument All they have is if she was black, black girl, if she was eight, white, if she was two, white. 165 pounds to 225 pounds at, at that time. Um, and when it comes down to it, when they want to, there uh, is accountability. Okay. It weighs too much. I think it's yeah, very look, facts oh, matter, man. information matter. Oh, yeah. It's very important yeah, to matters. state that she was not hanging. She was standing on her feet. Exactly. Five five hundred and eighty pounds with the belt. We covered that. Yeah, she leaned knots. forward. It's Had not her fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I was the one that said that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, we you I covered that perfectly, the like the prison suicide. Yeah, the, the she leaned forward. This was a crime. A crime was committed. Oh, a crime was committed. Michaela. Okay. Uh, both Jim and I questioned her and stated, "Why hasn't an arrest been made?" She emphasized. That it's because Michaela is no longer with us. Oh, God. 
Um, Lord, I just lost my train of So, which, by the way, on and I, I watched this over and over. Um, she just thought about food and lost her train of thought. <laughs> Monica, CSI, whatever we oh, want to CSI, yeah. Monica. But when it comes down to it, that point to me is a, is a critical uh, point. There was an assault that everyone agrees, including the DA, that, happened. that actually happened. And actually on, on and mind you, this wasn't Monica, this was Jim Browdy. Mm -hmm. Jim, Jim, Jim Browdy, initial, initial uh, investigator. Shut up, Porky. I know. I'm gonna keep and said, on. your daughter left last night and committed suicide. Right. Yeah. He ultimately she did. came to a conclusion with no investigation. <laughs> said, Trust me, because of my 19 years of experience. Yes, my experience course, matters. Is she committed suicide? And this progressed, and this relationship with this 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 uh, officer to disclose that his uh, that her daughter is from the LGBTQ. I like the, community. That's by the way, look at this. I love. Did you notice what happened there? That really happened. That what? They they she, accidentally put up. <laughs> you know, you you can like highlight comments. Oh here. yeah, yeah, yeah. They accidentally <laughs> highlighted a comment that said she killed herself. You all are stepping on a grave with this nonsense. Watch how quick they get rid of it. Is from the LGBTQ. Oh, <laughs> gone. I, you know, oops. Yeah. Oops. Like that really had that really had. Yes, that really. So happened. wait. And it, oh it my was, god! It was as if he was assuming that her mother had an issue with her sexuality. By the way, that is another lie that the cops told her. Like, so we can't come forward with this because we don't want people to know Michaela. that Michaela Miller was, was a lesbian. I've seen pictures of Michaela Miller. There was no doubt that she was a lesbian. I don't think that. I mean, am I am I wrong? No, 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 no! Absolutely not. She had a girlfriend uh, she, in town for like a year. Like there's pictures of them on Instagram. And Everybody knew she was a lesbian. Was advised to go on a white supremacy. And I mean, come on, there was no uh, doubt that she eats at the seafood buffet. She, oh, they're talking about us. Uh, Michaela's uh, her online articles and information was advised to go on a white supremacist That's us. platform to discredit, <laughs> slander, and shame. Uh, Michaela's mother, as well as Michaela, and then inflicted mm. violent white woman tears. Oh, violent white woman She had slandered both of them mm. on this platform. I also wow. want to add that the reason why the Boston Herald did the article is because they were instructed to. It was oh. leaked to them purposefully to so attack Bo Michaela's The mother. Boston the Herald wrote about the fact that the woman... They, um, so gracefully highlighted... They, they Remember, Michaela Miller's mother was arrested... Oh. For beating the shit out of her, the Boston with Herald a baseball up. bat. That's disputed. They've they've since changed it to hat, which doesn't make any sense. But either way, okay. she was arrested for assaulting. Uh. Okay, so that's relevant because the girl's dead, and the mother was the last one to see her. Okay, that's yeah. just stating the fucking facts that this girl came from. She lived in DCF care. That fucking yeah. matters. Now listen to their what they say about this. Uh, there was an assault case involving Michaela and her mother from. March of 2020. Oh, 2021. 2020. Say it one more time. 2020. Mm -hmm. Right? And in this particular case, it was supposed to be dismissed. Oh. But, but Wait. Because <laughs> of it, it, uh, dismissed. Okay. So because it happened, <laughs> because Michaela's mother kicked the shit out of her in 20, but it was 2020, not 2021. All right, wait, 2020. wait. We can, we can fact check the fuck out of this real easy right now. So I was accused of some shit a long time ago. And recent, well, and a shorter amount of time ago, was brought to court for it. Some armed something, armed back rubs, yeah. something like that. So just the fact that it happened that long ago, my defense should have been, wait, wait, wait. This didn't happen today. This happened fucking years ago. Ugh, yeah, and all racist. Way, later on in this thing, they're gonna bring <laughs> up all completely made up, like Turtle Boy sexually. Assaulted somebody at a oh. football. I should, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Obviously, that didn't happen, but it didn't <laughs> happen yet in 2014. That was 2014. Oh. <laughs> like, wait, wait. So people can't bring that up anymore, yeah, right? Oh, if you can't bring up the fact that this mother beat the shit out of his, her daughter last fucking year, <laughs> it's like with they, a foreign they, object. They, See, you're over, you, 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 you're glossing over that, man. Like, whether with it was a object. hat or a bat or a cat or a shat, I don't give a fuck. Dr. Seuss it how you want. 
you use the foreign object to beat your own fucking child. Yeah. That's not something we're going to overlook when you were the last person to see this de no. depressed slit liquor alive. Kind of mad. By your logic, though, the last person to see that fucking, that the dark brown salmon fucking jump into the river and try to spawn was a white cop. Hold him responsible for that. But That's if point. a depressed clam digger fucking ends it, don't look at the last person that saw them. No, you're right. It's it's, it's such fucking awful. insane. Yeah, they're just they're they're so desperate here for like an angle, and they're like, oh my god, and it was supposed to be dismissed, but it didn't get dismissed because of COVID. Because that makes fucking sense. That's Whatever. not that's not how the court system works. Yeah, exactly. That's not how it works. Trust me, as somebody like, who I've been to court multiple times during yeah. COVID for restraining orders. Have you heard of Ashley St. Angelo or FOHO? I've gone to like four states for fucking restraining order hearings during and beat them all, mind you. Uh, trust me, I assure you the courts have gone on during... You're, you're literally an East Coast <laughs> touring band of fucking lawsuits. Exactly. And these assholes want to tell us how the court system works? Exactly. I've been I've been to court for felony charges, kid. You're not going to... Oh, when they dismiss it, it gets dismissed right then. Like yeah. not... Like, wait, wait, wait. Paperwork and the stomach flu can't do it. It's not yeah. dismissed yet. That's not how it works. When you Sorry, come back, you're going to dismiss it. There's no reason to keep it open, right? Because mm -hmm. Michaela is deceased. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the visual and rally in Hockington, which they kept trying us to get us to change it from rally and just make it just the visual because they were uncomfortable with the words rally. Oh, um, and after that rally, she then went to court for her court date and was told, well, because okay. Tito had, um, Tito, tell them what the reporter told you. No, so what I, was, I, I, I had had an opportunity, I, I had a uh, 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 I went ahead and said, listen, this is bogus that the weekend before Mother's Day. As if that matters. The first time that Miss Struthers will have to deal with not Yeah, how dare they write about her daughter. domestic abuse? It baffles me how... Something like this is a, a year old case that you year have old. to look for. So a you can do old. Lexus Nexus, you can do all that stuff, but you have to look. You have to look for it. And interestingly, had that case been dropped, why would it be dropped? That story would not have been written. Why the fuck so would it have been the, dropped? The writing in the story. Why would it, it have says, been dropped? Bro? Has an open case. It so wouldn't. It wouldn't. This is in fucking infuriating, dude. It's been closed. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Had they just I looked past know, the domestic uh, assault on a child. July, Interestingly, July yeah, July, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Three months from yeah. now, one of the things that we and she's know dead, Brett. Why don't they just drop it? The victim is uh, dead. Okay, that's what happens. Three months. You know what I mean? So <laughs> wait, did, so we shouldn't prosecute murders anymore then, if that's the rule? Right, right. Wait, wait. The person I killed is dead. You yeah. can't. I can't be in trouble for this. Right, they're dead. Who cares? All right. Well, I'm gonna start killing folks then. Fuck it. Three months and punt this off. Thanks, Tito. Whether or not there's the transparency and accountability that needs to be happening. Oh, God. Reasons. Fluff. Uh, giving a heads up to the family. Oh, yeah. What makes me question what's going on is how was there no heads up given when you knew that the Boston Herald was going to uh, drop this story? Why would they give you a fucking heads up? So no. I, I want to address. Hey. I'm going to address the turtle boys. You can continue to block Lee because they, they have an in this Brendan Walsh person. Block, um, no. Block, block. Oh, no, they don't get tired. But they don't, but this is my thing. Sorry. Go ahead. No. But they don't ever, like, they don't ever appear in, in person. Ever. Bro, really? Like, people at the Lies. Yeah, like, I just, I just, I can't, I just can't fathom it. And it's like, fake news. Article, yeah. It's like, he's able to steer all of these sheep and these sheep just come out of the But you know what? Let me say something to you. The power ever. of white supremacy. Fuck you. Let me tell you something. The power of white supremacy is prevalent in Massachusetts. We don't ever appear and in it's person. It's prevalent huh? because these same individuals have a relationship with the police department. Let's just be oh. the, the, oh, right. Michaela's ex girlfriend's family was told to go on this platform because. If they, this fat bitch uh, brings up my arm robbery at some point, I'm going to kick her in the uh, cunt. Push back. No. on them, on any of the false narratives that they were creating. Yeah. We're not deleting people who disagree with us. We're deleting racist and white supremacists. Oh, it's right. all making it's sense different. now, Brett. It's all making sense. Yeah. They don't delete people. Oh. They don't, they're not deleting you 
uh, because mm. they're trying to silence you because you're bringing up, you know, things that are relevant. They're deleting you because you're a white supremacist. It, it's Dude, all wait, wait. intense now. Listen, I'll go a step further. And so I have screenshots proving that everyone's comments were getting deleted, like taking oh, screenshots on my phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, wait, but they left mine up. So there's screenshots where here's my comment. If you delete my comment right now, like if I make a comment and you delete it, it says comment deleted, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So they they left mine up. And by the so way, why'd... yeah, this this is I, I get what you're saying, but this is a picture of Ernst. This is a picture I took of Ernst. I'm literally <laughs> they don't never show their faces, bitch. I'm right here. And that's like you what I'm saying. Mad. That's why that part got me so fucking mad. I know you've been right in front of this <laughs> fucking twink. He came and on he's the acting show. like you. He came Damn, on the bro. Live show. Like to talk about it. Like, dude, I fucking confronted you in person. I've seen you multiple times. What are you talking about? You fucking liar. We need dude. we need so production to clip liar. that clip the fucking Ernst interview. So we can make it into one of those shorts or something, because you don't get to do that. Like you can say that we're white supremacists, massage therapists, we hate bacon and a nice, delicious sandwich, whatever the fuck you want to say. But don't say that you're never out in public like you're yeah. ducking these fucking faggots. Yeah, that's not that's no, it's just not true. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? All right, so let's so let's see what they say here about us on, on the stream. Oh, <laughs> Oh, there's a difference. Um, there's a difference. For so many reasons. You don't like our black bodies, so of course you're going oh, to have this alternative like opinion. Right, but the right. issue is this. Not ever has there been a, a homicide yeah. where you come to the conclusion of suicide before an investigation and have a whole town perpetuate that narrative in such a cult fashion. Mm -hmm. Has it well, first of all, it's not, it's not a homicide. It's never been declared a homicide. And Yes, that's frequently happened. When you find somebody who killed themselves, you're like, he killed himself. Case closed. <laughs> it happens all the fucking time. Like, not every fucking suicide. Like, we need to make sure this person did, was not lynched. Like, no, it's not a thing. <laughs> that people are like, what's going on here? Right? And then we'll try to uh, get rid of Brett. Hey! <laughs> Paint this narrative what the that fuck? was being abused Get to rid deflect of away from the fact that <laughs> that ain't right racist to the point five white teenagers is five oh, eight hates I'm sorry about Monica that. Cannon Grant hates I, southwestern I, I, Mexicans. I thought there was background music playing and I, I just got these new I'm sorry, I don't want to play LL Cool J. This is the, this is for the lover and you. Oh God. Um, uh, LL this guy Cool J, tries Howard to back Hewitt like he's like Jody Watman. Uh, uh, we get it. Yeah, like you grew up in the what a, what a cock. This is why she he really is. Said, okay, so this is March of 2020. Um, a, a case where there was admittedly by this Middlesex District Attorney's Office no evidence mm -hmm. that abuse was taking place. Mm -hmm. So there's that no the, evidence the, the girl PCF has black eyes. Had closed. All of this stuff have been taken away because they found no, <laughs> evidence. no evidence. Hey, why why the fuck do you think they're innocent? It's just, it's <laughs> just making it up. <laughs> I'm gonna have my own fucking rally. Okay, drugs in fuck the this. It's the same thing that uh. they did Breonna Taylor when they said her boyfriend was a drug dealer. It's the same thing. They have to find something to justify your death mm -hmm. because it is unfathomable to them. That someone would kill you just because of the melanin in your skin. Yes, I find that unfair. Oh my God. People Look, killed Michaela Miller white supremacy because she's has black. given them such great Heard with the, these words, man. The fear that is coming from this town around the truth around this case is astonishing. Uh, where guidance counselors at the school were telling the kids, right? Uh, Michaela committed suicide is nothing to worry about. And, uh, uh, but he also said she took pills. Yeah. They, 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 and died they, in her room. I was like, I'm what? sorry, what? Which, That's, let's also delve what? down and peel back. It is also uh, uh, interesting because typically uh, the, the, there's a difference between how uh, girls and commit suicide. Oh, he's like, he's like boys don't boys choke them. themselves. The, <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. Shut the fuck up, Bert Brimley. Seriously, this fucking idiot. Multiple platforms are used to weaponize racism um, and they oh. call it, you know, uh, in, their, in their world, accountability, transparency, yes. and, and, and from that side. These are the cowards 
who, <laughs> when we were younger, wrote wrote racist things. No, on bitch. The walls in the men's bathroom. Oh, really? Yeah. They're the they're the ones who now can hide behind Twitter handles. Oh, really? They're the ones who now I hide, can hide, huh? hide behind Let's see what happens here. Uh, the Facebook pages that I I receive messages. Really? From, so he thinks um, I'm hiding? That, That's uh, They have one. Uh, you know, they have one follower that that started that oh, day. Oh, hi, was just created today. Yes. <laughs> but listen, if you guys believe, and, and I see him here, someone's like, those kids were clicking for the like. My question is, how are you receiving information? It, is it from the police that you're receiving information? Because I find it really ironic that you are making statements such as this. So let me just pause this. That, so T Tito is also perpetuating this whole thing about like, oh, you're hiding behind a screen. You're you're hiding behind a screen. Let's check the archives, shall we, Brett? Hmm. I, I would love to because that part bugs the shit out of me too. Yeah, this is the one. It's like, okay, so Tito claims that I'm hiding behind a screen. So here is a video of me confronting Tito Jackson outside. Huh. Check this out. Hmm. Dedication ceremony. Okay, cool. My name is Aiden. What's your name? Oh, former city councilor. There's me meeting Tito. Yeah. We're here for the uh, unveiling of you, the ceremony. You fucking coward. Well, just cover media coverage. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well, we're just going to stand on the sidewalk. We can do that. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll laugh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, look at look how happy he was. Yeah. So um, yeah, so you stand right. It's, uh, it is he cool. said it was good to okay. see us. Yeah. So uh, what's up? He's what like, how come you never show up, bitch? I met you. You <laughs> liar. Uh, press is invited. You fucking liar. You, you literally waved. Say you my literally name. waved no. to you. Yeah, you literally wave to his audience, you <laughs> fucking fake fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> Say his I'm name. Do it all concerned about <laughs> Campbell. Who's Ray LeCampbell? Ray LeCampbell Remember, he plays. Candidate. He's like, I don't know Ray LeCampbell. Uh, I'm a Democrat. Diana Presley, she's the Republican nominee. I don't know. I don't know anything. What you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what party. you're talking about. And obviously. Chances are slim. I know that. Okay. Well, she's a Randolph Republican. She's an African American woman running against. I think he actually uh, broke up Presley the other guy and, uh, when he was Michael chasing after us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just told me that. And we were just threatened with violence. Actually, check this out. Yeah, this is when we got confronted. This is when our boy Thank Chris showed up. Thank God you hide behind the screen and never show up anywhere, huh? Yeah, I know. I never show up. Bitch, I'm standing right there. Oh, who's, who blocks him, by the way? Who stops him from getting there? Oh, who's pulling him away? Who's pulling him away, Brett? That's fucking Tito Jackson. <laughs> Huh. You, you were right fucking there. You tried. You fucking by, the way, by the way, let that pussy go next time. Let that fucking pussy go. You think I'm scared of this fucking little bitch? Why? Because I'm white. I'm supposed to be fucking scared. Oh, I'm so scared because I'm I'm white. And I've never been to Boston before. Oh, scary fucking guy. 5'7 with long hair. Yeah. Let him at me, Tito. He can get some too. Jesus fucking. Okay, God. wait, wait. Don't stop the video again yet. So now the narrative pushed on this. What channel was that? Not that I want to promote them, but it's something like... Uh, Black activist, something fucking channel, the YouTube show Monica was on. And they're pushing this fucking narrative that you're too afraid yeah. to show up to places. Yeah. And they know. They and know then it. you have this proof, though. Like, yeah. Son, I was in front of you when, I, when you said, hey, are you live? And he's like, oh, hello, everybody. You're like, mm -hmm. you were happy as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, but I'm not. You don't show up anywhere and you're a coward. I don't show up, right? Because I don't show up. Like they, 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 and they know it. Like all three of them, I've confronted all of them, and they, I've, I've been face to face with Ernst and fucking Tito, and they're both just like, what? They, they don't. All they do is talk smack on the keyboard, bitch. I'm there all the time. I'm there. My followers ain't all there, but they're watching. <laughs> they're watching. And that's that's the even better part of it, though. Is it's you. It's just right. you. Like, I'm there wasn't a group of people in front of you when right. you went up to fucking 
Michael Jackson's deadla uncle there, the Wilford Brimley of child molesters. And fuck it, there's no one there. Like you didn't go with a crew. It was just you. Yeah, Brett. And by the way, if I'm if I'm hiding, I I must be the dumbest motherfucker. I'm worse than Ray Carruth at hide and seek. Okay. Ah, if, if that's I'm a fucking, great reference. If, if, I'm, if I'm fucking hiding, then I'm not hiding very fucking well, am I? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, so when they when he first when the twink said that, like, never show up, da da da, da and they're cowards, and someone else goes, oh, keyboard gangsters or something. I'm like, there's literally a book on fucking Amazon where he tells you everything. Yeah. There's a podcast three times a week that thousands of people watch and he's hiding. Yeah. Like literally right now I'm not on camera because my laptop sucks, but like you, you have your face out there everywhere. Yeah, I'm, but I mean, you're the pussy I'm here right now. You know what I look like. You know what yeah. I look like. like <laughs> it's not a fucking secret. That's like a, I'm like the it's least insane ever. Like, and you're right. That's the most offended part about this. Call me a white fucking massage therapist all you want. Call, don't, yeah, don't call me. Show up. Don't say yeah. I don't show up because I show up. I was in Hopkinson fucking two weeks ago. What are you talking about? I'm always he fucking said, always. He like, said, I'm, "Call me a white massage therapist." <laughs> you know you know? Anyway, let's keep playing this. Back to the team. Uh, that are oh, not look known. at this. Look, look who they threw up there. The Antifa oh. from from Mansfield. Turtle Boy works with police. This is Jay. This is uh, mm. Joe Sheridan, the Antifa teacher. The family. Oh. And by the way, so, stop speaking for this family. Right. Nah, no, nah, I'm not going to stop it. Fuck off. They're all the that same. Bitch, they're fucking Tito. Take Dude. your own advice, you fat <laughs> fuck. Bitch. It's disgusting. He also. A teacher who had to leave his job Tito's for sexual here. misconduct. Shocking, right? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know that. Shut the, the fuck up. Tito the Jackson place. fucking molested <laughs> altar boys. Oh, wait. Somebody else said it. I don't know that. Okay. I think he, he fucking jerked off a nine-year-old boy. Insane. He's a fucking if deviant. So, <laughs> they, <if> they, <laughs> he's a piece of shit. Tito Jackson, what are you listening to? Say my oh, name, God, bitch. Say my Say his name. name. By the way, say I, I, his name. Black Lives Matter. Get into the information well, about the well, well, let, let me just let me just say this. And so, then block her. So, so block her. Block her. Somebody asked somebody asked what's up so, with the autopsy, and they're like, block her. <laughs> okay. Dude, that was oh. the other thing you pointed out that freaks me out. It's like they literally they're claiming that they sent the body to someone's garage in fucking Baton Rouge or some shit. <laughs> For an independent autopsy. Like, that's not how, like, that would be called desecrating a corpse. That's actually <laughs> a felony, you fucking retard. Like, Listen, Tito, stick the fried chicken. You're not a corpse shipper. She, he goes, they said that he, uh, was like, you know, himself said earlier in this episode that he was at her funeral two weeks ago, which means she's buried, which means these sick motherfuckers dug up the corpse and sent it to a witch doctor in Des Moines to get fucking <laughs> the fuck, you know what I mean? And by the way, the results were due yesterday. Uh, Where are they at, Monica? Where, you promised us results. Uh, Where are the results? It's about as real as Kate Peters lost. Hey, nope, nope. I, I know the results are delayed, dude. You can't, COVID. Oh, well, they explained COVID it. delayed it. They explained the delay here. Well, okay, go ahead. You no, know, that the, the medical examiner um, does the primary autopsy, right? So they, they have the body as it's fresh. Mm -hmm. They're able to do something that they call a toxicology, right? So okay. a toxicology is actually looking at the fluids that are in your it's body. It's a toxicology <laughs> report, actually, you uh, dumb yes, fuck. Alcohol, potential drug use, um, any uh, potential uh, agents. They do that, that on Tito, just to be like, blood. cholesterol. Look at, uh, <laughs> the contents of your this stomach, motherfucker right? died from cholesterol. Um, they, in, in addition, will <laughs> all the your cholesterol. body relative to what whether or not you have bruises, uh. broken bones, or any anything uh, on that level. Mm -hmm. um, but the toxicology is uh, something that you can only do pre-embalming, right? So when you go to the funeral Oh, home, shut the they, fuck they up, Tito. He, like, tries to sound... In, he's, like, the your, smart one. He's the brains right? of the operation, sadly. So, he's the suit. Uh, he's the downtown guy. The second opinion case. He's the guy that no almost became mayor, right? but he so couldn't in the black city. Yes. The so then, so the piece that this... Oh, God. The lab that's don't... That's literally... Uh, the lab don't work that fast. So the actual... 
Um, we won't get into specifics about who, but let's Ugh. understand that we don't play and additional trauma or, or the like. So this, this process is able to be done um, in a very short period of time. Um, we won't get into specifics. Oh, God. Who and through uh, us is problematic because your job is to actually investigate this case. It's not They're doing job. it, motherfucker. Don't you don't know what you're talking that, about. That but uh. I'd be damned if I let a black girl who, for all... Uh, okay, well, by the way, listen to this. She was quote unquote listen to this. Bad, but in this case, honor roll student, never given uh, any, oh. any, any problems, uh, uh, you know, to, to uh, the community mom or any, any of that stuff, basketball player doing her thing. Why wouldn't you want to be on the side of being better safe than sorry? Because the other piece is the opposite of what could, could happen is you could have individuals who are walking amongst your community, even though they're in high school, who may have killed somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what he just said. He goes, you have, you have uh, girl, kids walking around your community who may have killed somebody. He, they're calling children, innocent children murderers. <laughs> own fucking man who ran for mayor of Boston is calling children murderers. Now listen to what a Monica as, Now wait, wait, wait. As his cohort there, fucking Monica, I am get winded from eating chicken Grant, already docks these people, these yeah. kids, these yeah. fucking children, children. And now you're saying that they might be murderers. Well, listen to what Monica says. She doesn't say might. Listen to what she says here. This is the most slanderous thing she said and why her ass needs to get sued. Also, I just want to answer this question that was asked. No, the belt is not her mother's. Axe. Um, in fact, her mother asked them to test the belt. The belt was her fingerprints, mother's. DNA, all the things. At some point here, so Monica she straight up says they killed so her. So the narrative that they're creating, the belt's not her mother's. Michaela was not being abused. She was well taken care of. All of that is to deflect away from the fact mm -hmm. that these five white teenagers killed her. Let's just keep it a bump. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, wait, 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 one more time. In. I'm not in the habit of making anybody comfortable. Um, part of the reason Michaela was not being abused. She was well taken care of. First of all, she was being abused. She was not well taken care of. All of that is to deflect away from the fact mm -hmm. that these five white teenagers killed her. Let's just keep it a bump. Mm -hmm. These five, uh, like she, she's not saying allegedly anymore. These five white teenagers killed her and that is exactly yes. why they need the, to the, so those five white teenagers one of them last named i think it's rodriguez or yes. perez or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. all right yeah yeah it's like yeah. elion fucking gonzalez that white motherfucker yeah. all right then and by That's the so way insane. so check and, and uh, <laughs> let me uh I'm going to show you real quick and i'm done with the video. We'll, we'll, i'm not going to play the rest of the video it's getting a little late we got to do the first oh thing. good but uh, let me show you what Monica's done. So there has been a GoFundMe created. I, I'm going to share it oh. soon. But I just want to—I want to talk to the attorney first uh, about this. So this was, uh, let's see here. Yeah, check this out. This post. It says, um, "So Michaela's ex-girlfriend, a child, is using her death to raise money for legal fees." Uh. Now let's recap. She organized and called four other teens to jump Michaela. That's not true. That is not what she called them to do. Okay. That is a bald faced lie. Number two has yet to be arrested for assault because she, she shouldn't be arrested for assault. She was defending herself while Michaela was having a fucking panic attack and destroying the clubhouse. Number three has contributed to slandering Michaela. The girl herself. I have never spoken to. I have never spoken to this girl. She never came on the show. She's just turned 16. She doesn't want to come on the show. Like, All right. Hey, hey. What? Who who wrote this post? Monica. All right. Now, now listen. That So that's the... that She's talking about that kid whose mom was on the show, right? Like yes. Like the ex? Yes. So this is a kid that did... 100% more than any other kid during this day and age would do and actually looked out for right. her ex. Right. Yes, that's and, correct. And so you want to shit on this amazing fucking human being. Yep. For what? Like for just to push your bullshit narrative that white people suck, black people are great. That's the whole not, point. Not even just to make money. Just to to kids though. To kids. These are kids. I'm aware. It's just I I 
It just baffles yeah. me. Man. And so that is like the whole thing is they're just willing to just destroy this child because they're just, that's what Monica people like Monica do. They just hurt people. They destroy people. And then this woman, this girl, her mother starts a fucking GoFundMe for her to, for like, cause they need a lawyer. Right. And they need to figure out what to do. And so they have Joe Cataldo, the same attorney who defended uh, uh, Michelle Carter uh, in her uh, case a couple of years ago. Yep. And they said um, her and her mom for raising funds and went on a white supremacist news outlet to defame and cry. She didn't defame. I'm not a white supremacist. And yes, she cried because her family's being put through hell because of this monster. You, you're a fucking monster. You she, fucking she's kid. watching. She's watching you people make her daughter sit there and cry yeah. in a ball. Yep. So yeah, she's gonna get emotional. And she's yeah. not like she's and not for nothing. And this is only my opinion, and it's not Aiden's. She's not like the dead broad's mother. All right, and it sucks. Suicide. Blah 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 blah. Mental health. Yeah yeah blah blah. blah. The, the girl killed herself, man. Like, it sucks, and that's horrible, but her mother fucking failed her. Yes. This broad's mother is standing up for her daughter because right. no one else fucking will. Amen. And she went on the one fucking news outlet that will let her go on fucking TV live, unfiltered, not biased, no edits, nothing to tell her side of the story. Amen. The bigger problem should be that no one else is fucking telling this fucking story. Right. That's the story is that no one else is, is, is telling that, it. That's and no one gives a fuck though. Yeah. No one gives a fuck. No, but yeah. That's like, and so, and, and she's like, please report her GoFundMe. So this woman who is you, you, let put, me. the reason yeah, she needs me. a GoFundMe, the reason she needs an attorney is because you have slandered uh, her. And so now she's ahead. attempting to raise money to defend herself. And you're like, we need to report it. Meanwhile, the other fucking mom has raised $55,000 and she's the reason she's fucking dead. She might've killed her herself. Okay. And she's the reason she's fucking dead. These fucking people are evil, man. Listen, how, how evil. familiar is that? How familiar is that? Someone had a, a GoFundMe and they were raising money for a legal defense. Yes, this happened to me. And, huh? Yes. That's weird. Yeah. Right. And why and did it happen to you? And these goddamn tech platforms, they they give into this stuff. This might work. This might work. So I am going to share this GoFundMe uh, because I just want to talk to the attorney first. Because here's the thing: I don't want to share it if he's not going to sue. If it, it what if it's for legal defense? She hasn't been arrested for anything. She doesn't need legal defense right now. Okay. But what she needs to do is get an aggressive sue. attorney and sue. You need to Fuck sue because yeah. they have money. You don't just sue Monica because this is the violence in Boston page posting this. Okay. This is the official nonprofit. This nonprofit takes in millions of dollars in discovery. You can get all their financials. They have to open their fucking books. It all has to come out. Sue the fuck out of them. Take everything. This is your, so hey. I, that's why I haven't shared the GoFundMe yet until I get a confirmation from attorney Cataldo that he is going to sue them. I will not share or endorse this GoFundMe. I want an aggress and if not, I'll find a fucking I'll find an attorney for the family that will sue them. Okay? I will find a fucking attorney. I'll hire well, them. Well, that's my right question. My question is what's a class action lawsuit? How many participants does a class action lawsuit need? This wouldn't like, be a class I don't, action. Like so you couldn't team up with that mom because you were called a white supremacist blog? Like that has to be well, the th I've talked to Mark Randaza about this, about the white supremacist thing. And he's like, and this guy's a first amendment guy. And he's like, that would be like, they could argue that white, that white supremacist is opinion. All but right. Like, well, but, but they, but this, this is not opinion. Like telling people like, what they're saying they about them. this child is right. that has to be actionable. Right. She straight up says that these five children murdered her. So yes, five children have been slandered. By this pig, this dumpster pig. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I will. I am looking for an aggressive attorney. I hope Joe Cataldo is that guy. But if he's not, I, I'm not sharing the GoFundMe. I'm not sharing the GoFundMe until I know as a fact that the plan here is to sue. This bitch needs to be fucking sued into oblivion, and her. And you need to take all the money from violence in Boston. Fuck these people. This is the chance. This is our fucking chance to destroy this fucking cunt pig, and finally take her down.
She needs we'll to go say fucking it, down. We'll Fuck say it 2.0, man. Yeah. Let's make it a group effort and everyone that's being harmed by this, like this fucking amazing mother and her awesome fucking daughter are being destroyed online. That that's it's it's not my opinion. It's not my what what did you call us? White massage therapist? White massage therapist, <laughs> yeah. Like right. it's not an opinion, oh, God, it's it. it's a fact. Yeah. Uh oh. That keeps happening. Anyway, I'm gonna do the freestyle <laughs> in a minute. So I'm just getting ready for the freestyle. Let me make sure it's oh, uh, all right. Yeah, I mean it's about time. I, it's fucking twelve. I didn't three. get to hear this one this week, so yeah. All right, give me one sec. Is that all set? Okay, close and then come on, don't fall, don't fall. Ferguson better win this fight, god damn it. All right, there we go. Okay, let's do it. All right, go ahead. Beep boop boop. All right, it's gonna mute you there real quick. And let me change my mic. Audio built in. Okay. Here we go. If you want free food, better come through. White guilt strong with the SJW. If you is a honky, it will take some persuasion. Cause that shit ain't free if your ass is Caucasian. Some white people is all about the talk. But these two will suck your dick if you buy pock. Better come quick if you want the price tomatoes. That shit will last as long as the Worcester tornadoes. If your ass is white and you ain't got the cash. 1-800-BLACK-DUDE for the door dash. Busty the clown disrespecting police. Showing off the food because the ass is obese. New Bedford cop died from the corona. Her snatch is so dry that they call her Arizona. She'd be happier if a man gave her the shocker. Bitch's face comes with its own door knocker. Dressing like Satan because she don't believe in heaven. Bitch goth went out of style in 1997. Don't be mad at me because you can't find a real man. That's why your ass got knocked up by Lieutenant Dan. Keep your crime sprees on the down low. Don't don't be doing that shit from a doctor video. Selling DVDs, smell kind of funky. Disregard the resume, it's if you ain't a junkie. Every chick he sleep with gets hot and dies. Recruiting junkie bitches for the crime enterprise. Boosters got caught in and set up an alarm. He ain't got no freedom, but at least he got one arm. Throw away the key and lock him up for life. This the dude that might have killed Richard Kimball's wife. Monica's still lying up, make Kayla Miller. Fuck is wrong with this heifer? Calling her a killer? Don't know when the jig is up, bitch throw in the towel. Ernst mama's so poor she can't buy him a vowel. No one buys your bullshit except your boy Tito. Mad at the world cause you shaped like a burrito. All you got is lies in your baseless attacks. I'll come by turtle boy cause all I bring is facts. That's why you gotta call me a white supremacist. Cause I'm the realest white boy, whole class dismissed. Uh, uh. Uh, Damn! Uh, uh, Not one uh, poop emoji. No poop emoji. Suck on that, Janetti. I know you're. <laughs> oh, it's for you, Janetti. It's always for Janetti. Okay. Dude, that was fucking great. No, I don't. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, glad you liked it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it was worth it. Thank you for the donors. I appreciate. Well, it. that was the first time I got to hear it with everyone else. That's true. You didn't hear it ahead of time. And that was fucking amazing, man. <laughs> Production, clip that shit. That's Production. going in the fucking yearlies. <laughs> Absolutely. That was fucking awesome, man. <laughs> All right. What questions? Uh, we got here? All right. Any questions you guys have? Fire away. Uh, and then we'll call it a night. It's fucking 1207. My boy Ferguson is getting whooped up on, son. Oh, yeah. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do no you? No fucking clue. Absolutely not. Yeah. Not at all. So, right. with my Brett's after party bullshit, uh, with our crew, one of us has uh, ESPN Plus, and they always buy the pay per views. Mm -hmm. So, we all get to watch the UFC pay per views. And that's on tonight. 
and the guy that I picked in our little pick 'em league is getting his ass foot. Yeah. So, all right. So, people are saying, what about Lowell? I'd, I'd like to go Friday. Yep. I mean, well, I'm just trying to answer the questions. I really don't give a shit at all. Me, perfectly. No. All right. Nothing, I'm sorry. There's nothing I give I a little shit about less though than men fucking circle jerking each other in a ring. I don't care at all. <laughs> um, yeah. What about Lowell on Friday? Uh, yeah, I plan on going, uh, but I need a crew. That's the thing. So, I don't know if people want to join me because the, the Tina degree is going to be there too. I feel like I have to go, but stay tuned about that. I'll, I'll make, I'll, um, let's see, Neil. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked the rap. That's nice. Uh, I maybe we should just have our own rally instead of like disrupting Monica's. Maybe we need our own. What do you think? So like, I, hey, I I like that better because <laughs> now remember she said that Hawkington didn't want the wording or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and that's why she couldn't have her rally protests there. Mm -hmm. Hopkinton would let you have something. You could literally probably like rent out that mezzanine, the fucking roofed grill area at Hopkinton State Park, man. For what like a free had, speech rally. What if we had a justice for Caitlin Anderson and justice for Michaela Miller too? Because she's a victim in this. They're besmirched. Think of what they're doing to her name, like in the grave. Like this girl is dead. Okay. She should be able to rest in peace. And what they are doing now by, by forcing the, the district attorney's office now to disclose all this information, they are being forced to disclose like her private text messages, right? Embarrassing yep. stuff, humiliating stuff. And she's fucking dead. And you can't just let her rest in peace. And because of you, all this personal information about her is being forced to come forward. You absolute monsters absolute monsters so wait can't, can't and we me. go can't we go hey wait that wasn't this week that was last week so we can't use that anymore that's true isn't that, that the same true. logic can we just invoke that i don't know what the statute of limitations is there so mm -hmm. yeah i mean maybe we need to have our own mm -hmm. fucking rally like a, no. a rally for justice for emily nievis and justice for kaylin anderson and justice for michaela all three we got one white, one Puerto Rican, and one black. Okay? That's pretty fucking diverse. Right? We're like a Neapolitan fucking Justice League here. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, anyway, what, what else we got? Anything else? Dude, that is the best example ever because that's the ice cream my wife always buys me. Because <laughs> what she says, like, she'll call me from the grocery store and say, hey, what ice cream do you want? And I'm like, I don't know. She's like, all right, shut up then. And hangs up on me and brings me that three flavor joint. Yeah. That's exactly what you are. You're actually the Neapolitan of news. I am. I am. I'm the Neapolitan ice cream of news. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. All right. Any other questions, guys? Uh, God, we call I love tonight? this show. I know. It's what a fucking audience. We've had over 300 the whole fucking night, even though we started late. You know. So. So so when my when my laptop fucking did its bullshit. Oh, it's I Megan. Guess. Oh, Megan's here. Hey, Megan. Um, and uh. Oh, so when my laptop shut to bed and I was, I'm sitting there, my wife was sitting out here with me watching the fights because we have a pay-per-view, like I said. And uh, so I'm sitting there and fucking, it starts that countdown and it goes 1, 8, 30, and it sticks at 30%. And I said, I feel like a real cunt if I don't, uh, I'm just going to use my phone. She goes, yeah, well, it's at 30%. I was like, no, I don't know, fuck that. I'm leaving them hanging out to dry here. And so I jumped on the phone, and I'm so glad I did. I know. You jumped in right at the right time. And that chick came in the comments, too. She didn't call in. I'm really disappointed. Uh, because she's a coward, man. Or Uber Eats dropped off her fucking tacos. It's one or the other. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's a big girl. I guarantee Grubhub is her best friend. They know her by her first name. They go, hey, chubby. Yeah. Uh, did the Everett Vice Principal ghost you on the debate? Yeah, he disappeared. He's nowhere to be found. He's a pussy. Um, all right, cool. All right, guys. I guess we're going to call pussy. it. If nobody has any questions, um, keep don't wear your mask anywhere. Masks are over. Stop wearing masks. Stop giving them what yeah, they want. Yeah, fuck that mask shit. Yeah, yeah we're done. So uh, keep keep up the good work, Turtle Riders, and we'll see you for the next episode. Oh, uh, wait. Wait. I'm going to go. Uh, we're going to have uh, the main events coming up. So I'm going live on Brett's After Party. If Brett's After Party is a live fights. party. They will have, uh, I'm sure Ralph and, will be uh, there. Thank you. Maybe. Yes. Uh, thanks for having me on. And you guys are the best fans on the planet. See you.
fucking assholes later. Peace, Turtle <laughs> Riders. <laughs>